We beat to rap what he beat to lock, but I'm cool like that. You're now rocking with the best Luminary Sounds, the, the number one station for independent artists. I'm cool like that. I'm cool. Yes, indeed. This is the second leg of the hour. Luminary Sounds. With, with a legend, an oh, 805, oh, 805, yeah. 805 oh legend gosh. in the building. I curated <laughs> it. I said, we got to have the pioneers. We got to do it. In the 805 here. Let's go. We have the one and only, D Tragic. Yo, yo, yo. yo. What's going down, it. you guys? How you guys doing? Oh, man? Man, we are we, so happy to have you. Hey, thank you for having me through, though. That, that's tight, man. Absolute. This is a fun show, man. I've been listening to you guys, too. Okay. And these questions a little bit earlier. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Missy, don't play. We don't. Shout out to Young Quick. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Young Quick. Shout out to you for being so, here. Hey, thank are you ready you. for that heat? Or? <laughs> uh, let's get that heat. <laughs> let's get so right not. into it. <laughs> <laughs> let's get right into it. Can you tell our listeners a little bit about yourself and who you are and where they might know you from? Okay, so my name is D Tragic. I'm from the 805. I call it the 805 way before the beer. Uh, I'm, I'm born and raised here in Ventura. Um, mm-hmm. I've, I've been a DJ uh, at nightclubs, at house parties, in yeah. the hood, you know, parking lot pimping shows, <laughs> nice. stuff like that. But I've really been an advocate um, for independent hip hop, our local hip hop scene. Sure. Um, I long time ago started out working at a nightclub where I was able to book acts, local acts, mm-hmm. independent nice. hip hop acts to be able to open for big shows. Mm-hmm. I put together this TV show on, shout out to Caps TV Channel 6. Caps! Shout you know out. what I mean? It was like one of, one of the first places <laughs> I put together an 805 hip hop show to where we, you know, interview artists. And you know, just to show love to the 805 hip hop scene. There you go. Um, and you know, it's just through the, throughout the years, just been an advocate for this area for independent hip hop artists. And got a website called 805hiphop.com that I started mad years ago. Mm-hmm. Nice. Before, before social media, just to just to give um, you know artists a, a spot to be able to get get heard and get noticed and to really promote it outside the 805 due to the rest of the world. Well, it, which is really interesting. I'm not sure if you remember this. I had seen you at Levy Live one time and I yeah. got your number yeah. many years ago before mm-hmm. Luminary Sounds and I called up DJ D Tragic and I said, yeah. hey man, how do I got an idea. How do I get this thing going? <laughs> That's amazing. And, and yes, and he was very kind. I looked at him and Mambo uh, as people that like I gotta get with these guys. They know the game. They know the business. And he and he just told me in my ear like, be consistent. You know, it's gonna be hard. You gotta yeah. be dedicated. People are not gonna believe in what you're doing. And and then you fast forward to where we are now, man. As a you know, from an idea to podcast to radio to great guests, and it's like. Everything you said was true. Well, D Tragic, yes, first, sir. just from that story, shout out to you because most <laughs> people you, will look you. at a young person that's trying to do their thing and go, man, I ain't got time for this. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, shout out to you. That's shout awesome. Out. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I, I look at it a little bit differently, though, because, you know, something I say with a lot of artists, you know, a lot of independent people, man, they're, they're trying as hard as they can. They don't have huge budgets. It's almost impossible for them to, to break out, get out there. Yeah. You know, and so, so when I look at it, I look at it like this look at, we all lost, you know, everybody <laughs> lost. So it, it takes more and more people to participate and contribute like you guys are doing right now. You mm-hmm. know, you guys are working with independent artists, help them get out for the area too as well. Yep. So so when I see mm-hmm. that, I think more along the lines of like, okay, like, you know, for one, are you serious? Cause like, I, I, I take a lot of um, pride in the mm-hmm. stuff that I do. So, so approach it, you know, uh, positively. Right. Um, and then also too, as a mentor, so a mentorship. so. Yes, we want you to do that. The competition and all that other stuff, that's out that's out the way. You know, so when people come up and they say that, hey, let's let's mentor them, let's let's help each other out. You know what I mean? I love it. You said something about um, you know, are you serious about this? Mm-hmm. And that is some of the issues that we were having in the beginning. And we kinda have it right now where mm-hmm. we, we had a ton of submissions over this last week when I mean, we have young quicks on. And mm-hmm. we take a look at their content <laughs> and it is boo boo to be straight honest with you. And it's boo-boo not because they don't have the talent. It's mm-hmm. because they're not really putting it in uh, the, the commitment to put in the work, the reels, yeah. the music, and they're not as consistent. So it's hard for me to say no, and I don't want it to feel like I'm cherry picking who I want to put on because I want everybody, that's what the platform's for. Yeah. But you know, we're still trying to find that median and to be like, well, you're not quite ready because if we put you on the radio and people want to listen to your music, you don't have enough body of work or anything well, else like that. What about the people that don't like have social media? There are like huge stars and artists that don't have social media. I guess they don't need it because they're, they're not independent. That's like a big... Well, if they're a huge star, they already have a following. So mm-hmm. I don't know how much they... Like some artists yeah. don't I mean, even have uh, Twitter. 
you know, and mm-hmm. some of them just have Instagram or some have both. So I think if you reach a certain establishment, you know, you don't really need some of those necessary things. Mm-hmm. But as an independent artist, you need to do everything yeah. uh, to all and use all the tools, you know. And, and yeah. I think long story short is um just the seriousness of your mm-hmm. craft. Yeah. You know what right, I mean? Right. Even if you don't have social media, there's some people, they don't have social media or anything, but you could tell when you're in their presence, they're serious. Well, that's what I'm like, saying. Yeah. You know? People who are, are hard mm-hmm. workers, oh, yeah. just because they don't put it on social media, I don't Absolutely. think that is a deterrent as to if they're... No, I understand where you're coming good, from, too, good, as well. Good artists and, right. well, you, know, you know, that will pop. One, one thing, I, how, how I try to look at it, you know, like I grew up listening to like one certain style of music, like a, like gangster rap was like my favorite, you know? Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. A, as a DJ, a young DJ, like you can't just go out and play gangster rap everywhere you go. Right. You know, you have to listen and kind of diversify, but, you Absolutely. know, it's hard, like for me, like like sometimes when I listen to artists you know because I have a hip-hop show so like hip-hop songs will play in a hip-hop song in a hip-hop show right. so sometimes I'll get submissions and I, and I kind of I kind of feel it's hard for me to say you're whack you know what I mean because <laughs> yeah. because yeah. because mm-hmm. like the beauty is in the eye of the beholder so mm-hmm. so now with the internet like this person that I might never play in the ride you know like never play in the ride mm-hmm. he or she can find people that like their music right so right. so that's where i kind of say and, and and i i have this thing where i you know i say hey well you either have a huge audience or you have a slim audience a smaller audience you know that's just kind of how i refer to it because uh-huh. you know you never know what people like you know and yeah me being a little bit older um i might listen to you know people's uh, opinions about new music that's coming out made by youngsters and try to not be swayed and and like just be locked in a certain way so um i just try to look at it open-minded not going to it like i may not play it in the right i may not be something i'm listening to yeah but okay. i'm looking around and i see a lot of people loving it yeah so at that point i you, you got to recognize it. you have to um whether you like it or not um and then also too it's you know kind of listen to the message what are they talking about in the song like mm-hmm. what are they encouraging these people that like them like what are they talking about do you, you get know? like advice to some of these artists that aren't quite you know oh for sure polished? okay for sure for sure i do um you know we talk about polish too um you know i come from before the internet before all these programs that you could use to make music real super that's easily. what i'm talking about you you, you had to buy a a twenty five hundred dollar board machines. yeah the <laughs> machine and, and you didn't have a million sounds so the thing is is that I would say that when a person puts their music out, where they come on your radio show, mm-hmm. and they, where they go out, wherever they're at, just do your hardest to produce your best pieces, you know, um, with quality, and think about that. So I've got music, and I'm listening to it, and it sounds like it's made on some Fisher Price <laughs> beginner Casio <laughs> keyboard no, sounds. No, man, that's so right? true. But trip out on this though. I'm listening to the pattern of the beat, it slaps. Yeah. The yeah. dude's rapping, yeah, it's like he's probably rocking off a headphone. You know how you can use a one of your headphones yeah. to record off of yeah. like yeah. back in the day. So but so you look it at it you look at it technically and you know, oh yo, this is this isn't what is people are buying, this isn't what people are putting out. But you can recognize the skill of it. Sure. So I'm mm-hmm. like, yo, so when I come back and tell them, they might love that. You know, with pride gets in the way with people, stuff like that, too. So constructive criticism. Yeah, you just mm-hmm. say, yo, this is banging. Let's take you and your producer. Let's go into a, I don't want to call it a real studio because it's kind of like make them feel disrespected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go into a real studio mm-hmm. and let's redo this track again on some, some banging equipment. Okay. You know, and then you listen mm-hmm. to it again and you're like, <laughs> Dude, it, 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 it's, right. it's hot. Yeah. But most cats, you know, they don't approach music like a business. You know, like it's, yeah. it's just like, you know, I, I, I downloaded some songs off the internet from homie on beat selection mm-hmm. number three dot com. And then like I, I rapped on it over the, the, the microphone off my laptop and I saved it. And I right. Put it on, you know, and that's all they got. They don't have like budgets. They don't look at it like a business. So, yeah. One thing that I definitely want to ask you, and I spoke to Junior about this when we were just kind of talking Mm -hmm. was i was like i wonder if d tragic was ever a artist in his own right or was he part of a group so you know like growing up growing up um i would say we were part of a crew like a clique like a bunch of people that rap i'm not a rapper okay i think that everybody can rap like, yeah, like you could put on a beat. Missy got bars. Yeah, she does. She does. <laughs> Thank I'm, you. Everybody can rap. You know, you can practice. You can write stuff and practice. Yeah. Like who? Who was I saying you practice? I yeah. think it was you, Junior. You said you practice some stuff or something like that. Or Quick said, Quick said you practice some stuff. Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah. so I think people can do that. But like, you'll see, 
everyone can do that. But then that one person from a mile away, they come through and they just tear it down. Mm -hmm. Tear it down. So so you can recognize like true Big talent mm -hmm. from yeah. from a mile away. You know, so as much as I'm on the turntables and I got DJ Fred, the kid, little 13 year old, come over my pad, yeah, get on my stuff, just tear it down. And I'm <laughs> like, Yo, I thought it was broke or something. Like, <laughs> I, I thought it was broke, you know, but so it's not broke. <laughs> yeah, it's not broke, you know. Well, so. speaking of uh, recognizing talent, we yes, have sir. a thing, uh, Sip to Your Light It Up. Okay. Where we listen to an independent artist music, mm -hmm. and if yeah. it is, you know, what we call not good, we sip a little tea and we explain why. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. We explain why it's not good. If it is okay. great, or if it's not to your it's liking, it's not to your liking. Okay. We, okay. you know, but if it is good, we, you know, light it up. Just like you're I saying, let everybody it, listen. It, yeah. It's all in everyone. The eye of the boulder. Yeah, it yeah. Is. So now, it this is. is this is not a hip hop song, but it's okay. R and B. So we'll, we'll see. Okay, uh, right. This is going to be by a uh, summer break, uh, Alameda. It's time for sip tea or light it up. Yo, 